I'm here with Jamie from Wild Goose in Kinsale in County Cork. Hi Jamie, it's brilliant to be here in this beautiful part of the world. You're very welcome. Thank you nice very much. You. Jamie, share with me the story of Wild Goose and how it all began. We started in around about 1970, late 60s. It's very much a cottage industry. It was started by my father-in-law Brian and a friend of his, Kathleen. And they were, I suppose, interested in the heritage of Ireland and what it might say to people now. And they very much looked at the artefacts of Ireland, the built heritage, the stone carvings, the Celtic crosses, and the designs that were in them, and thought about how they could speak to people in the modern age. So Jamie, how many designers and craftspeople make up the team here at Wild Goose? So Kathleen was very much the designer in the early days and uh, she worked on carving all the pieces by hand. Now the company has moved into a different generation mm -hmm. from Brian and Kathleen's day. Kathleen worked very closely with Adam, who's our chief designer now, and she passed over to him all of her techniques and all of her skills and all of the things she'd learned over the years. There's a very skilled element in getting the polish and getting the shine out of the pieces and that's what is done by the craft workers that we have here. And so we have about six people working on those. Brilliant. So where did the name Wild Goose come from? My father-in-law, Brian, grew up in the UK and he always saw himself as one of the wild geese, dating back to when the Earls left Ireland after mm -hmm. one of the many defeats. Mm -hmm. And he traced his ancestry back to Justin McCarthy, who was Lord Mount Cashel, who was one of the, the Earls who left Ireland. He always felt that the company uh, was symbolic of that return to, to the country. The Irish store community are big fans of the Celtic Love Cross. Tell us the story behind the design and the making of this particular piece. So it comes from a panel on one of the crosses at Clonmac Noise. And one of the things about Celtic knotwork is it's very intricate, it's very beautiful, mm -hmm. it's quite complex and complicated, and it has no beginning and no end. They thought about love and true love and uh, how the complex carvings and the beautiful carvings could reflect love and so when they were looking at that design which is from the probably the 12th century mm. they were moving it into now with an interpretation on it which would mean something to people today so jamie thank you for sharing the story of wild goose with myself and all your fans at the Irish store. We're very delighted to have you here and also to be able to talk to some of the people who like Wild Goose. <laughs>